In this video, I'm going to share with you how to set up receipt forwarding in QuickBooks Online. Hello, I'm Steve Chase, and it's August 20th, 2021. If you're struggling with keeping track of your receipts in QuickBooks Online, then this video will help guide you to learn how to properly manage all of your receipts in QuickBooks Online. We're going to discuss how you can create your own dedicated email that allows you to email a receipt or a bill to QuickBooks Online. And then once it's received in the QuickBooks Online account, how to manage that via the matching and the receipts or the creating of the bills. And this video is also going to share with you how you can manage maybe older transactions that you might have forgotten to attach a receipt. Best of all, uh, with QuickBooks Online, your data is secured and backed up in the cloud. And therefore, wherever you need access to the, the data, you can log in anywhere on a browser to get to the information. So let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to share with you how you can create your own forwarding email. So there's a 25 character limit and it's just a matter of just setting up your your email once you create that email uh, that will be yours associated with the account you can't change it down the road um, also keep in mind that auto forwarding emails are not supported so you are going to need to manually forward an email from your admin account associated with the email associated with your profile in quickbooks Online. all right so here we are so the first step to get started, you're going to click either on the Banking tab or Transactions tab on the left side, and then click Receipts. You'll see it's the last tab on the right of when you're working in your banking section. And on the far right-hand side, you're going to see an option to set up Receipt Forwarding. So you click that. Then just go in here and type what you'd want it to be. So um, I like having the word receipts in the front. Um, and then of course, once you start sending those receipts out to folks, you uh, to QuickBooks, you'll have it pick up on your email editor. Uh, so if this is something that you'd like, you're gonna hit next. Double check to make sure everything is good. Perfect. All right, I've just sent some receipts over from my email to QuickBooks Online, a dedicated email address, and I'm going to be sharing with you um, in the credit card. Notice that we have a couple of matches here. The first one, it says, uh, we found a receipt that matches this transaction and attached it for you. Awesome. So we can just code this up real quick here. and. We can hover over if we wanted to to see uh, that receipt there. Click on it, you can see it. That's just to double check the details, you know, go back. Once everything is great, we would just click the add button and or confirm depending on which uh, view you're looking at. And that's it. Just a matter of saying that it's going to find it and hover over and see. Sometimes you might not see a preview of it, but if we um, wanted to actually see that HP, sometimes, you know, if you know what it is, it's 4654, just add it as the code here. And then remember that anytime you just did something in QuickBooks and you want to see it, you just click on the magnifying glass and it will show you recent transactions. And from here you can click on all receipts are going to go inside of the attachments section at the bottom left. You click on it there, we will be able to see it there. Okay. That's great. Okay. Next topic I'd like to discuss is how to create a bill. So sometimes you would like to recognize a bill that you're going to pay later down the road. Okay. So when you send a receipt or an invoice slash bill to QuickBooks, it will be available to you on the receipts tab. And then when you get in here, you're going to see the ones you've sent over. And these are kind of just queued up right here 
waiting for pending for you to match it later. But when you click on the line, it will open up where you can see the actual uh, receipt here. Zoom in, zoom out. So this is actually a, a bill we're going to pay later. So the first step is you're going to want to either go into the review section and either click receipt or bill. When you have the uh, opportunity here that you can select who you're paying. Uh, the bill date, notice that it, it has pre put in the date based on reading the text here. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, and the due date, it has, it's already put that in there. Uh, the 898, it put that in there as well for me here. Uh, the category, it doesn't know the category. So this is going to be legal and professional services. Um, I'm, it's hit or miss whether we'll do that or not. We'll hit up on it or not. Okay. So then um, look at the bill number. Look carefully at the, the map. It's, it's actually 501-TX. So it's close, QuickBooks, but I'm going to have to manually type uh, the ending part here so it can match it perfectly here. Um, if I want to do anything else with that, I can come down here, any memos and all that. Um, so there's, there's our opportunity there to create the bill, save, and close, unless you're wanting to do another review. Okay. All right, so at that particular point in time, uh, I need to go back in here and actually create the bill now that it's been... Let's take another quick look at review. Bill, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, okay, so save and close. That's been reviewed. And then review. Here we go. That's the draft bill. So after I've gone through that, I've drafted. Then right here, we have create bill. That's the key. You got to go in there and you know you've done it when that item drops off the list. So these remaining items right here have not been found on, on the accounts here. Okay. So um, that's how you can create bills. A little bit clunkier than the adding the receipts in the same, but of course the bill is going to take a little more effort uh, because you are effectively posting to the accounts payable. Okay. All right. Now let me share with you how you can actually see all where all these attachments are going. Okay. If you go on the left hand side and click on vendors, expenses, expenses. Okay. Um, one thing that we can do is we can filter it for a particular date frame. So, for example, maybe I want to just see uh, this week or this month. And I'd like to be able to see from here which uh, items have been captured with the receipts. So there's a little trick. You can go over to this little gear here. And under the columns, add the attachments column. And then what you're going to see is a one if there is an actual receipt or something associated with an attachment. So this one has two. And so this could be a quick way to go see if you're missing a transaction. For example, for Google here, I wanted a receipt for that. I can clearly see it's not here. And from there, I could just manually upload it or uh, try to send that receipt over and then have it capture the matching of when it comes through in the for review section here. Hey, thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out my other videos and upcoming live classes at sequentialsolutions.com. Email your questions at stevechase at sequentialsolutions.com.